Chapter 11 Glow in the Dark Fucking no! Rory yelled, shielding her eyes from the flame. Hiro hopped on Wati's back. He whispered to the dragon. Wati flew up and spread his wings, smothering the flames on the ceiling. Wati flew back down. Good job, Wati, said Hiro. And look, said Drake, the rope attached to the cube wasn't hit. Rory's dragonstone was glowing very brightly now. Rory, quick, ask Falcon to try again, Drake cried. But Rory looked scared. It wasn't your fault, Hiro said. Your stone was weak, but it is bright green now. Rory looked down at her stone. She patted her dragon's neck. Try again, Falcon, she said. Just a small flame on that rope over there. This time, Falcon hit the right spot. The flame burned through the rope. The cube-shaped stone dropped. The stone door lifted up. Drake, Hiru, Wati, and Worm raced through it. Then, a spark hit the rope connecting the cube to the door. The rope burned quickly. Save the dragon stone! Rory called after them as the door slammed shut. The fifth room was very dark. Worm, can you glow? Drake asked. Worm glowed a faint green. Drake could see the outline of a door. There was a symbol of a crescent moon above it, but that was it. It looks like a moon dragon will have to open this door, Drake said. Hiru nodded. Wati, moonlight please. A ribbon of dark light streamed from Wati's mouth. It looked like a rainbow made of blue, black, and purple. The light lit up the wall in front of them. Drake gasped. Glowing pictures appeared on the wall. The ancient writing didn't show under Worm's glow, said Drake. Wati's moonlight made it show up. He re-read the message. It says I must read the rhyme aloud to open the door, he said. When it opens, you and Worm must pass through. Drake's stomach flip-flopped. He suddenly realized he would be moving on alone. I thought maybe you would be the last one, he said to Hiro. You can do this, Drake, Hiro told him. Whatever you find in that room, you and Worm will handle. I have faith in both of you. Drake looked at Worm. Ready? he asked. Worm nodded. Hiro read the rhyme aloud. A water dragon was dragon one. Dragon two was of the sun. Dragon three was poison green. A fire dragon was forth to be seen. Dragon five was of the moon. Will the earth dragon get them all out soon? As Hiro said the words, the door slid open. Drake and Worm entered the sixth room, and the door closed behind him. Chapter 12 A Puzzle Drake and Worm stood alone in the darkness. It's so dark in here, Drake whispered. Worm's body began to glow with green light again. Drake could see six large stone balls in the center of the room, placed in a circle. They looked perfectly round and smooth. Beyond them, on the wall, was a stone door. Above it, carved into the stone, was a line of six holes. Do you think these stone balls go into those holes above the door, Worm? Drake asked. Drake heard Worm's voice in his head. Yes. Drake walked over to one of the stones. He put his arm around it. It was so heavy. These are too heavy for me to move, thought Drake. But Worm could move them with his mind. Drake looked at the stone. Each one had a symbol on it, just like the symbol on the front door. There was a moon, a sun, a water drop, a flame, a rock, and a skull. Next, Drake looked at the holes above the door. He didn't see any symbols on them. How will I know which stone goes where? There must be a special way they need to go in, Drake said. Then he remembered the words from the rhyme that Hiro had just read. A water dragon was dragon one, Drake repeated. That's it. I bet the stones go into the wall in the same order as we cross through this pyramid. So the stone with the water drop on it goes first. Ready, Worm? Worm nodded. The stone with the water drop glowed green. It floated up and it fit perfectly in the first hole above the door. Dragon 2 was of the sun, Drake said, remembering the rhyme. 
the stone with the sun symbol glowed. It floated up and slid into the second hole. Great job, Worm, Drake said. Zero was the third dragon, so the poison symbol is next. Worm lifted the stone with the skull symbol, then the stone with the flame, then the stone with the moon. One more, Worm, Drake cheered. Worm's body glowed, and the stone with the rock symbol on it slowly rose up. It floated into the final hole above the door. The door lifted up. We did it, cheered Drake. Worm crawled through the doorway with Drake. They entered the seventh room. Suddenly, Worm sank to the ground. His glow faded. Worm, Drake cried. What's wrong? Worm didn't answer. Drake looked around the room. There, towering above them, was the prime dragon stone. Light poured from the huge green stone, blinking on and off. But the dragon stone was not the only thing in the room. On the floor next to it was a golden egg. The egg was as big as Drake. Sparks sizzled and jumped all around it. Whoa, what kind of egg is that? Drake asked. Chapter 13 The Prime Dragon Stone Drake looked at the egg up and down. The egg looked alive. Golden lightning bolts of energy shot out of it. The Prime Dragon Stone was pale green now. Drake could tell it was weaker than ever. Then he noticed that a stream of green light sizzled between the Dragon Stone and the egg. It connected them, and as the stone got dimmer, the egg got brighter. It looks like this egg is taking energy from the dragon stone, Drake said. He looked at Worm. A stream of green light flowed between Worm and the egg. The egg was taking energy from the worm too. What am I supposed to do now? Drake wondered. We came so far to find the dragon stone. Now it's my job to save it. But I don't know how, Drake said out loud. And even if I did, how will we get out of here if Worm has no energy? Think, Drake, think, he told himself. The egg was taking energy from the dragon stone and Worm. So maybe all he had to do was move the egg away from them to break the connection. Push it away. But will I hurt the egg if I move it? Drake took a careful step toward the egg. The hair on his arm stood up. The air was crackling with energy. He slowly moved his hand towards the egg and felt the tip of his fingers tingle. Ow! he yelled, pulling back his hand. He couldn't push the egg. He might get hurt. If Worm had energy, he could transport it out, but... Crack! Suddenly, the egg started to break apart. The lightning bolts of energy jumped toward Drake. Worm's eyes shot open. Worm's whole body glowed bright green. The dragon stone was glowing brightly too. Golden light from inside the egg filled the room. Worm quickly wrapped his body around Drake to protect him. Drake shielded his eyes. The light became brighter and brighter. It almost blinded Drake. Whoosh! Worm and Drake disappeared from the pyramid. Chapter 14 Look in the sky. Drake felt dizzy. He slowly realized that he and Worm were outside the pyramid, and all of his friends were too. All of their dragon stones were glowing so brightly that the dragon masters couldn't look right at them. Worm got us out, Rory cried. Good job, Worm, Anna cheered. What happened in the last room? Hero asked. Did you save the stone? Uh, I'm not sure, said Drake. There was this egg, and it was taking energy from the prime dragon stone. Then it hatched in front of me, and the stone glowed really bright. Look, Petra yelled. Golden lightning bolts were shooting out of the side of the pyramid. Then a dragon flew right through the wall, like the wall wasn't there. Bo's mouth dropped open. What kind of dragons slide through walls? That must be what hatched from the egg, Drake realized. It wasn't a big dragon. It looked like a baby compared to the other dragons. Its scales were a shimmering gold color, and its whole body sparked with energy. The dragon flew around wildly. 
It looked like it did not know which way to go. It's just a baby, cried Anna. Hiru's eyes were wide. That's a lightning dragon, he said. I have read about it in the scrolls, but I've never seen one. Drake heard Worm inside his head. We must help him. Worm says we have to help the dragon, repeated Drake. But what if he's dangerous? said Bo. Remember, he almost killed the dragon stone. Right at that moment, a bolt of lightning shot out from the confused baby dragon. It hit a palm tree and fried it. Startled, the baby dragon let out a cry. Then he flew away across the night sky. No, come back, yelled Anna. But the baby dragon was gone in a flash. Chapter 15 Dragon on the Loose The dragon masters and their dragons went back to the temple. Tarek and Sara was waiting for them. Workers ran out to take the dragons. Our dragon stone glowed brightly a minute ago, Tarek said. You must have saved the prime stone. We have found the stone, but it didn't need our help after all, Drake said. Anna frowned. There was a baby dragon who needed our help, but he flew away. A baby lightning dragon, said Hiru. Tarak and Sara looked at each other. It sounds like you have quite a story to tell, Tarak said. Let's get inside. They went to the dining room of the temple. Sara brought the tired dragon master's tea and little cakes dripping with honey. Suddenly, there was a poof of smoke. Griffith appeared in the room with his wizard friend Diego. We have news, said Griffith. Tell them, Diego. Every 10,000 years, the energy in the Prime Stone creates a dragon made of energy, exclaimed Diego. It's called a lightning dragon, and its egg takes energy from the dragon stone. It's true, said Drake. I saw it happen. Then the dragon masters told their story. So the dragon stone created this dragon? Rory asked. Griffith nodded. It looks that way. The dragon stone became weak because it was feeding energy to the egg. But now that the egg has hatched, the stone's power should be strong again. At least for another 10,000 years, Petra added. That's why the pyramid is called the Pyramid of the Seven Dragons, said Bo. The lightning dragon is the seventh dragon. Sarah nodded. That makes sense. He's just a baby, Anna reminded everyone. He's all alone out there, with no family. He must be afraid, said Bo. And he's shooting out energy like crazy, added Rory. He could hurt somebody. He frowned. It will not be easy for a dragon like that to stay a secret. Drake had another thought. What if somebody bad gets the lightning dragon? He asked. Griffith stood up. You are all correct. We must act fast to find this dragon and keep him safe. Drake looked at his friends. They had saved the dragon stone. Right now, he felt like they could tackle anything. We can do it, said Drake. We will work together to find the lightning dragon. The end.